Hey, it's Ed here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover why I've analyzed with the LA2 theory and provide multiple scenarios the price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on one hour time frame, and let's talk about the bullish count first. Again, the bullish count was the least favorite of mine, just because of the higher time frame structures that we had and the expectation was not a wave one. So in here, the idea was that we had a five-way structure of motive diagonal here into a uh, wave one and then looking for that wave two. Again, invalidation was at these lows that we had here created on the uh, 18th of June this year. Uh, now, now that we have taken out those lows, um, we don't need to be tracking this anymore. Then we had a dance count here, which was again very similar. I'm not, I think he had still this as a possibility on his recent uh, uh, posts um, where we had this as an A wave and um, this was again having the possibility of this being a diagonal or a three-way move both of them were possible and still are um, the invalidation again for that uh, multi-way structure having this as a zigzag pattern is gone however this is still possible that we have this as an A wave of a flat pattern again we have taken out the lows here so that qualifies us to create an expanded flat structure here and now uh, after creating this possible uh, connector wave structure here as an A, B and C, we would be looking for a uh, pump up higher for that higher time frame C wave. Then we had uh, original uh, Oyers count where we had this as an A wave, Ex very expanded flat, <laughs> very large B wave, again does not really uh, have the right look and it turned out to be uh, uh, not that good, again we took out the lows here and this invalidated as well. A modification for this one is that we had this as the A wave here, looking for that wave B to come downwards and then looking for that C wave. Again, uh, we have this as a three-way structure here instead of a five wave, so we can still have this as an A wave, B wave and C wave, S very same idea as um, Dan had by again different substructures here. In this one, I feel like we need to be forcing this count to be some kind of W, X, Y, X, Z if we want to be playing it. Um, the other idea we had here was that we had a three-way structure like so, another three-way structure like so, and then we would be heading higher. That didn't play out. We did get a bounce here, um, but ultimately we just uh, fell through that. So um, while this is still possible, um, I don't think this is the, as likely as... Um, this counts here, um, so I feel like this is um, the one to track at the moment. Um, then we had this minuet ABC count, in which again we had this as an ABC structure, ending the count here, and then we would be looking for a structure that would be coming down here uh, in the three-way structure form. We had the X wave uh, at here, due to the more local structures, uh, or more local uh, ideas where we had this as an W and then that expanded flat ABC into these lows and then we would be looking for higher. Again, that did not play out, so this is now invalidated this local scenario. The higher time frame scenario where this, this is uh, labeled like this is still playable. So in this again, we would have this as an ABC and unfortunately, we I think we need to be labeling this as a fiber structure. Again, we don't have the overlap um, and the third wave is not around the 1.6 minutes, not even close. So, um, but again, this is still valid. Um, at the moment, if we are looking at this more bearish scenario here, uh, we got the one-to-one -one extension in, in comparison to this wave W here. Um, so comparing this wave W here to the next wave Y here, that would be ending that B wave as well, uh, is right at the one-to-one -one extension. These previous yesterday's lows around 16.8K were um, hit to the tick with this count. So it gives some validity to this count. However, again, um, this was such a large week, I'm not quite sure how far the cash markets uh, on Bitcoin did get. Um, on, again, this is on futures. So if we want to be labeling this uh, within a three-way structure, we would be labeling this as an A, B, and C down into W, expand a flat here into that X, and then another A, B, C here. That A, a B, C here is again hitting the one-to-one -one on a logarithmic scale at least um, uh, very well here. So again, he had 
quite a few things going for it at the moment. Or oh, at, at these lows here, basically. So yeah, it definitely is possible that everything is done here. Now, the other way to look at this is the impulse wave count, in which again, we were expecting this structure here to be a B wave and looking for a C wave coming down. And with this count, we would be saying that this whole structure was a wave one too. Um, I know it is kind of hard to be labeling this as a firewish or ABC. So it is possible that wave one ended at these lows and we had that expanded ABC here. And at that point, I feel like it would be making more sense that this indeed was that zigzag pattern for that wave for giving us that alteration uh, in that sense. So uh, that's that basically. Um, <laughs> kind of hard to fit the, the wave threes and fours in here though. So we would have to be fitting something like this in here, which again, it does not really look like too good of a thing. Um, maybe we label this as the one, two then. I'm not quite sure. Maybe this is the previous wave four, but again, if this was a previous wave four on smaller time frame or, or the subway structure of this wave one, why would it be a bit lot, way larger than the wave two of higher time frame degree? I don't know. Um, this is just the way we need to be labeling it if you want to be having this as a fireway structure. Um, again, I have I still have my short open from these highs. I have taken profits on that, and I did take another short around here, around the uh, uh, twenty point five one seven, so one seven, so around here. Again, we were looking this as a fireway structure here um, on ETH and in Bitcoin. So again. Um, the idea here, here was that either we are creating this as a wave one and looking for that pullback for wave two, or we would be just crashing down. And at this, this point, we crashed down. I had my shorts, oh sorry, my longs here as well, trying to open them and, uh, and that just fell through. So again, I had around the golden pocket, my long entries that got invalidated at the lows. So that is definitely a thing to keep in mind as well. Um, so yeah, I'm still on the shorts. I've taken profits here on the way. Um, and this is the w only way I can currently can see this, uh, being a right count. Uh, if we place the way four here, we have already retraced around 50%. I don't think we can have this as a, any kind of anything like that. Otherwise we're just risking the way one top here and getting to that area. Also, if we get go below beyond that 0.5 retracement, it is just making it so ugly looking. It doesn't really make any sense, in my opinion, to have this any in five waves anymore. Um, so for that fifth wave, possibly diagonal here. Again, very overlapping, very very ugly structures here. This looks like a three-way structure. Uh, very uh, okay, okay looking wave structure, but. Again, I don't think it measured to the one to one either. I think it was closer to the 0.618 here. Just below, between those two, didn't really fit anything. So no new shorts opened here. There was definitely a possibility if this was going to go a bit higher this morning, but yeah, did not work out. So, so that's that. Then again, another wave structure downwards. So I do think that we have a pair of um, structures coming down. So we could be labeling this as the wave one. Then we would be looking for some kind of wave two here. It is possible that um, we are getting beyond these highs that we have here, get b people a bit more bullish, and then again, drop down and do these zigzags all the way down to the fifth wave and create this diagonal. Again, this is the only way I see this bullish being, uh, sorry, a um, motorway structure or a diagonal coming down is these three-way structures at the moment. Uh, we have not taken out these lows that we had um, during the, uh, um, the midday basically for me at least. So if we take out these, then we need to be looking into this again. Uh, with these highs, however, again, we did create this uh, overlap between the wave uh, one and four. So so I guess we could be creating just a diagram here. Um, it would make, make me think that this needs to be again, a expanding diagram where this structure, the third wave, or the, sorry, the fifth wave would be larger than the third wave. So at least around the 17 point, oh sorry, 16.7 K area, taking out the current lows that here and then having that divergence I can in play. And those are the two things that I'm watching um, 
at the moment, either creating a bit larger wave structure here or a pullback and then another structure downwards uh, for this fifth wave. For the, for the uh, bearish count, uh, which was again with these um, ABCs in mind, there is of course possible possibility where this is again WXY of a uh, smaller time frame or a smaller degree and we would be having this as that same three ways that we had on the impulse wave count and then again creating some kind of three way structures in here um, creating lower prices. But again that depends on your higher time frame view and which one you want to be labeling and, uh, and playing out. At the moment I'm still expecting this, this low to be taken out at some point um, but again, if we are seeing clear fireway structures that are taking out this possible high here of 18.5k, I might be turning bullish and then looking for a retracement to go long on. But if you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes, link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.